he was probably one of the most generous people I've ever met. He, uh, he was certainly a visionary. He had a, a you know, idea of what he wanted Blackberry to be and the people at Blackberry to be, and we all uh, you know, really absorbed all that and absorbed all of our talent and energy as well. And I think his spirit of generosity really was infectious. I think it was just, he, set, he was such an energizing force. Um, you know, I've been working in agriculture, horticulture for many years before I came to Blackberry, and I came here and it was like I, I started all over again. It's a new enthusiasm. That's the great thing about being here at Blackberry, but also being, uh, you know, the, the, the spirit of Sam still being here is that we're constantly being energized. And Sam always called himself the king of fruit, uh, uh, falling fruit because he picked up every opportunity that ever came his way. And he, you know, whether it was good or it was bad, he like just took all of that information and everything that came with each opportunity, whether it was disappointment or growth or inspiration, um, and he used that, you know. Um, so I think if he was here, he would probably just tell you to take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way, and you're going to learn something, whether it's what not to do or what to do or how to be better or an inspiration to somebody. He had taken uh, a few of us to Europe um, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, and um, and we went to London and we went to Belgium and we um, had lunch um, at this three-star Michelin restaurant. Uh, myself, Cassidy Dabney, our chef at the farm, um, and Keith Kirk, who is the Dogwood Dining Room um, Manager, and we had um, we had lunch with the four of us and Three Star Michelin, the Leadberry um, in Notting Hill in London and um, just spent like five hours like it was we sat down for lunch and had like 45 minutes before we were expected at our dinner reservation so it was this like long leisurely afternoon of just like talking about our families and just sort of like transcending that bridge between like work and your private life um, and we just he talked about his children and all of his hopes and expectations for them um, and his family and his wife and just like Blackberry and you know gluten allergies and Instagram and how he didn't really understand that um, and just like a lot of different things I got to know on um, just a different sort of personal level and that was really great and it was really fun to have a lunch like that with all this wine and beautiful food and lots of laughs so that was probably my favorite memory. Sam had so many layers to his personality that it would be hard to just pinpoint his personality. Um, but I think the biggest thing about him was that he was so driven. Um, and he really, like, he was so hospitable, like, down to his, like, very core. Walker is such a unique place. Um, one thing I really love about it, and one thing that I really um, kind of sells it, how I sell it to other people is we're great at finding your niche. Um, every single section of Blackberry um, has some form of hospitality to it, but there's so many different ways that um, it can be implemented into a job. Uh, whether you want to be a horseback riding teacher, a dining room server, um, a event manager, a fishing instructor, um, there are so many different ways that you can be hospitable um, and Blackberry really learns how to pinpoint what you're good at, what you're interested at, and in getting you into that position.